Station your battles, everyone. Get ready for war. You better be ready, because there's a war coming out. What's the war is about? Let me tell you. Choose your weapon carefully. I'm going to choose my weapon. This will be my weapon. Eagle Claw. Collapsible. Rod in real. Are you ready for the battle? There's a battlefield we got to hit. That battlefield, what is that battlefield? What we're getting in war with? I'll tell you exactly what we're getting in war with. Get ready. The war is with a fish. The fish, I tell you, is the fish are we're going to war with. The fish we're gonna war with, and I tell you, it's right here. War with the warfish. You understand? Warfish. There's a fish it's called warfish, and that cause a time to set up your battle. Get your battle ready and do some fishing. Whoo! That's Wild Bill's Adventures Outdoor. Come on, let's go ahead and have a great time and hit like and subscribe and have a wonderful time. Go fishing, enjoy my outdoor adventures. I'll talk to you later. Woohoo! Hello there. Hey, I just want to tell you about a uh, new lake I'm checking out. The new lake is called Neosho Lake out in Lincoln, Kansas. Lincoln, Kansas. What? I'm trying to talk here. Lincoln, Kansas. That's where I'm heading out to, and I have this uh, species of fish I'm trying to go catch is called Warmouth. Warmouth? What is Warmouth? Well, they got a bunch of names. Some of them call Red Eye. Some of them call Goo Eye. Woo! Some call Red Eye Brim. Stump uh, Knockers. Mud Grapper. Mo Mouth. Is that from Missouri? Mo? I don't know. Ah, uh, Morgan. Molly, rock bass, open mouth, weed bass, oh, strawberry perch, woo, strawberry perch, and mud bass. War mouth is little bigger than a rock bass and green sunfish, with which is often confused. Adult war mouth is dark with molded brown uh, coloration. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, and I'm, it's hard to read. Even my print is a little bit bigger. Their, their belly is golden, and, and the male is a bright. Their belly is a golden color, and the males have a bright orange spot on the base of the torso fin. Their uh, three to five reddish streak... Uh, Radiate from the eyes. Right in the eyes, uh, three to five reddish streak. Warmouth has three spines in the annual of the fin. And it had ten spines on the dorsal fin. And small teeth are present on the tongue. Growth, four to ten inches and up to twelve inches. And the way up to two two and a half uh, pounds so that's not bad war mouth are often confused with rock bass they're different the difference between the two is the war mouth has three spines on the annual fin and the rock bass have six spines on the annual fin three and six okay war mouth are members of the sunfish family which includes the largemouth bass. In case you want to know what a war mouth looks like, I'll bring it up. Now this is what the war mouth look like. Kind of golden color. It looks sort of like a rock bass, but fins are a little bit different. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get ready. Go Lincoln, Kansas and hit Neosho Lake. Hit the Neosho Lake and see what we could do. Neosho River is not too far from there too. Let's go check it out. Whoo! Oh yeah! 
choose your weapon set your battlefield we're gonna see if we catch me a war mouth fish let's, let's see what we do here brought my eagle claw collapsible pole there we go Let's see what we get. I'm going back to my normal shad bait, but we'll see what we'll catch out here. Let's see, that's better, much further. I was still using the original line that comes with this. Uh, Eagle Claw Pack Kit was called Pack Kit Collapsible. And this is a pretty stout fishing pole that I demonstrated in the past. So we'll check check it out. This is a good little traveling kit. Traveling little this is a good little traveling kit. Oh, I think something just hit it and I didn't get it reeled in quick enough. I saw something jump up to it, hit it. I think I messed up there. Probably a largemouth bass. Let's try it again. Show them. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. Jumped right out of there. Crap. It's a good sized bass, too. Damn it. Far down right now. Oh well. Had to sit out and sit in the car while it's raining. Well, when I parked here, it was all dried. Now my car is in the water a little bit. I have to keep an eye on it. If it gets any higher, I'll have to drive off. Go higher ground. But let's see.
Yes, fish on. Yeah, come on. Stay on there. Wahoo! There I go. Easy does it. Come on. Let me have it. There we go. A oh, large mouth bass. Little one. There we go. It's not the fish I'm looking for. Large mouth bass is good. I was wanting the oh what do you call the war mouth. Alright then. Put this thing back in. Not bad. This was all gravel all the way through here. That's how much water flooded with that just rain. I just moved my car because it's in the water. Now the water's coming right back up to the car again. Coming through pretty quick. I'm trying to stick it out a little longer. See if I catch any more fish. Oh, that's not going to work. Fish on. Not yet. <laughs> Come on, fish. Got one finally. Yeah, crappie. Little crappie. There she is. Little dinky thing. All right, let the fish go. It's a little crappie. Not right, big enough to eat. Go. Another crappie. Woo -hoo. There's a crappie. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A little bit bigger. There we go. Another little crappie. One bass and two crappies so far. All right. Well, yeah, snag me that big old log right there. Let's see if I can get that pin in here. Yeah.
pretty strong uh, fishing rod, eagle claw. Collapsible. Look how big that pain is. Now bring it in. Line came with it. Sometimes the line will snap, but luckily I can bring this in. There it is. Look how big that log is. There you go. Look how that big old log. Come on. That's right there. You. Mm, damn. Here, I'll show you. Get that up out of the other way. I brought this big old log in with that pole. <clears throat> Look at that big thing. I'll bring this up. Get out of the way, everybody. There you go. Tip of it is right here where you see my rod. All the way over here. And the tip of this log is right here. This is the log I pulled out so you can see uh, how big this is. Just pull here, touch that. Okay, that's the thing I pulled out. So got all the way down here. Right here's the end. Uh, you can see the pole. Big old log pulled out with that eagle claw collapsible pole. I'm surprised it pulled that much out. It's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. Big log, huh? Not bad. Three good claw, flexible. Take it on a trip. Line things with it, pretty stout. That's jumping way over there. Or some sort of fish. I'm gonna head on out that way. A little ways down. I'll turn it back on. Keep further. That's going down the bottom of the cliff or somewhere. Trying to see if I can catch a fish right here. Back out of it.
Yeah, it's good enough there. A beautiful day. Let's get on out of here. Here's some geese over there. I ain't gonna bother you guys. I'm just gonna go over here. Get a snag on something, don't I? Huh. Earlier today, you didn't have all this water right here. Walk up on here, and now it's all flooded. Yeah. Catch something or a catfish. Come on. This is Wild Bill's Adventures Outdoor. Just to let you know that, uh, hey, that lake, Neosha Lake, there in uh, Lincoln, Kansas, is a nice small little lake. I like it. But anyhow, I was thinking about, you know, about that lake there. I did catch a warmouth fish like I want to. Uh, I wish I could have caught that warmouth fish man that would have been cool but i did caught a bass i caught two crappies i missed a, a good sized bass looked like a good two pounder by the time it jumped out the water you'll you see you'll see packet uh open face rod and reel that is uh collapsible man that's a pretty stout i'll say that's a really tired scene and uh, i'm impressed for the price for 20 bucks at walmart 20 bucks after taxes and uh, what you want you want to come up here all right <clears throat> you come up here and for 20 dollars i don't know you can't go wrong with 20 bucks and it's and it's take it on your trips put it in a backpack and head on out and enjoy your time go fishing sometimes you just don't want to carry everything in your hand while you're hiking and trail and you got a nice little uh fishing pole the eagle claw so anyhow, I thought that's pretty cool. It's a nice little outfit. How about that uh, that old log? I couldn't believe it. I brought that big old log in. That thing is huge. I brought it in with that line that came with came with that pole. That line that came with the pole. I couldn't believe it. That's pretty cool. Oh well, it is what it is. But I just thought that's a neat thing. Man, it just pour rain all day long. How about you know? I was sitting there. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't knock it over, girl. <laughs> oh, she got it and hit it. Anyhow, <laughs> I was thinking, well, uh, yeah, with all that rain, I just pulled up there and it's dry as a bone in where I parked. And then when I was sitting there waiting for the rain to stop, and the, the water was about this high up. Well, you see it on the on the deal. It was high up. And then I decided to move that car further up, up that hill. And then the water kept rising and rising in that lake with all that rain. And it came up almost touching the back of the wheels. That was a lot of rain just co uh, coming in. A lot of ground that I was walking and was gravel and that pier. And it just flooded over. It just, uh, you couldn't tell that was the pier. It was just uh, a lot of massive rain we had last week but a lot of flash flood but at least i didn't have uh my car stalled in that uh, water good thing to get that out of there quickly but during that i knew with all that rain i decided not to come back the next time but one of these days i go back to neo show lake and try for that warm mouth fish and try to catch that warm mouth fish another time well that's wild bills adventures outdoor and i'll talk to you later Woo! oh yeah